everybody it is wednesday the 3rd of february we are going to continue on doing the time this week um but today we are going to move on to doing the hour hand so your learning objective is to tell the time to the nearest minute uh, we're going to have a quick look at what we did yesterday's lesson um we looked at all of these lines here uh, and we counted in our fives on the way around. So let's do that together now. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. And can you remember what our largest number in the minutes is? Well, I think now it is 59 highest number in the minutes column it will go up to is 59 and then it goes back to double zero okay now today we are going to look at the minute hand which is this red one the larger hand and we're also going to have a look at the hour hand so firstly we'll work out our minutes we know if we start at zero here, we count in fives on the way around. However, this one does not go to five. So we're just going to count along in ones. One, two, three, four. Four minutes passed. Have a little look. Have a little think to yourself. I have made a mistake. What have I not done? Okay, that four needs to be up here. We must put a placeholder in there for it to say four minutes. Now we're going to move on to look at the hour hand today. So I'm just going to rub out what I've done for my minutes. I'm going to look, have a look at the hour, the, the blue smaller hand here. Now, the easiest way to do this is have a look at the two numbers that the arrow is in between. Now, this one is about there, and it's in between the numbers 9 and 10 on the clock. And we always go clockwise is in this direction here. So whichever number the arrow your hour hand has passed is the hour that you are in. So in this case, the hour is nine. And remember that placeholder. Um, so we can read the time as four minutes past nine or nine or four. Going to have a look at another one here another example for you so we're starting zero here and we're going to count fives if you go we're looking at the minute hand here ready go five ten we can't go up to 15 so we're going to start with 10 11 12. put your 12 in there and the hour hand again you're looking where it goes in between which is the number six and the number seven. Clockwise, which number has it just passed? It's just gone past that number there, the number six. Again, another example for you. Count those minutes. Zero, five, ten, fifteen. Can't get to that. 16, 17, 18, 19 minutes past. Pop that in the minutes. And the hour between 11, 12. It's just gone past the number 11. So that can be read as 19 minutes past 11 or 11, 19. 
I want you to just pause the video now and have a little go. See if you get this long correct. Pause me now, please. Right, let's go for it. Now, it doesn't matter which way you do it around. You can do the minutes or the hours first. I always do the minutes first just because I find that easier. But have a little experiment and see which one you find easier. Starting at zero. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39 minutes. And your hour hand is between the number four and the number five. And we're always going clockwise around the clock. So it's gone past the number four. So it's 39 minutes past four or 4.39. Okay, I have um, changed the clock slightly here. These are the, one, your, the ones what your tasks are going to look like. Um, again, the larger hand is still the minutes, just on this clock it is green, and the hour hand is orange on this one, it's the smaller hand again. Um, I'm gonna start with the hour. Oh, in fact, let's start with, no, we'll start with the minutes as usual, okay? So we're gonna look at the green one. This is zero, and we're just gonna go one pass, so it's only one minute past. Now, the reason I have done one minute past is because these are the times that it sneaks it up on you. It's like a little trick because we cannot see very clearly where the smaller hand is in between. So I just want you to pause for a minute. Which one is it going to be? Is it between nine? And eight or eight and seven. What is it just one minute past? If it has gone just one minute past, it's the closest number, which in this case is eight, but it is in between, it's in between eight and nine. So the answer, the hour, is eight. Eight or one or one minute past eight. Okay, your tasks for today. Um, if you head over to Teams, you have some clocks that are very similar to mine, and I want you to see if you can do the minute and the hour.